Good evening, kings and queens. This is King Lee from the Stand Tall Show. And welcome to another segment of Know Your History. I'd like to recognize these two gentlemen for what they accomplished, kings and queens. These two gentlemen, Bertram M. Lee and Mr. Peter C.B. Bino. On this date, on October 21st, 1989, they became the first African-Americans to purchase a major sports franchise. On this date, October 21st, 1989, they purchased the Denver Nuggets of the NBA for $65 million, kings and queens. Today it's 2020 and the NBA is 81% black. Yet, there's one black majority owner in the NBA, and we all know who that is, Michael Jordan of the Charlotte Hornets. In a league where it's 81% black, and that's one black majority, own, majority owner. These two gentlemen purchased the Denver Nuggets back in 1989, gentlemen. Do the math, that's over 30 years ago. And yet, there's still only one black owner, black majority owner at that in the NBA, in a league where it's 81% black. Very unfortunate. Today, Mr. Bino is the CEO of Rewards Network, a restaurant marketing company. Mr. Lee died in 2003 of a brain aneurysm. I just wanna give props for what those two gentlemen did I'm sure at the time they thought they were trailblazers. But regardless, they're trailblazers in my book. So I don't recognize these two gentlemen for what they did. Mr. Bertram M. Lee and Mr. Peter C.B. Bino. On this date, October 21st, 1989, they purchased the, Dem the NBA's Denver Nuggets for $65 million. Going forward, kings and queens, I have another show coming up with the great, great, great grandson of the famous abolitionist, Frederick Douglass, Mr. Kenneth B. Morris Jr. Look forward to that, kings and queens. It's on the horizon in a couple of weeks. For this segment of Know Your History, this is King Lee. Take care, kings and queens, and stand tall.